All right, guys, we're gonna start with some exciting cutting today. And the office told me to go out here and I'd figure out what I was supposed to cut. And that's really pretty. Got green and black in it. Oh, but we're gonna cut pistachios today. Stick around, we'll go cut some of it up. I think you'll like the process. And I'm gonna eat some more of this ice cream. The California pistachio logs that we have here today came out of an orchard down near the Bay Area of California. And they were planted, I believe, on a riverbed because there are thousands of these rocks. It doesn't matter if you have carbide chained uh, blades on your chainsaw or if you have carbide blades on your sawmill, these things will just stop them dead in their tracks, which is kind of expensive. So this is the biggest hazard with these logs. And if you look at this one over here, you can see the base of the tree. So this was underground. And then right here, the underside, there's just big rock sticking in there. So we want to maximize every little bit of this wood. Most of the big, nice, usable wood is right in here at the base. But if we cut any closer than about here, we're going to hit those rocks. You can just guarantee it. So this one is the base, just like that one. We cut it off. You can see these beautiful green and black lines that just flow through here. Here's the heart check. All the pistachio logs are going to have that. Believe it or not, this one actually isn't that bad. A lot of times you'll get them, they'll go four ways or five ways. Just a nasty split in the middle. So the prettiest wood in these things it's got a huge split. So we end up with these little pen blanks and knife blanks, pistol grips, uh, small parts for boxes. That's what you end up with because of that heart check. But we cut this base off of the log right here. And here's the log. And we trimmed up one of the roots here just so it goes through the sawmill a little bit better. But what will happen, we'll be sawmilling and we'll cut through it with a blade and then it throws off and kicks at the guy's which isn't very exciting for them. And then this is what we end up with to go through the sawmill. And this isn't a huge log by any means. So we've got about six, six and a half, seven inches in diameter at the top end, maybe 10 inches at the base. Out of this, half of it will just be garbage, sapwood, and just not very interesting wood, probably another 15, 20% will end up being that heart check that we looked at over here. So usable wood out of one of these, I would say we're hard pressed to get 20% usable, which is just nuts. Um, I believe this was 3.7 acres and we had three semi loads come in here and hopefully we get some nice pretty wood for bull turning and all those small beautiful projects. nice stuff. You can 
you see that real green? Green and kind of a fluorescent color even. Pretty stuff. Let's go see what it looks like. I cut the end off of this one, got the stump cut off of it, and the upper limbs were trimmed up enough. We should be able to get it through the mill okay. So I'm gonna go hop in the log loader and pick it up and move it where we can get to it with the forklift. I moved the pistachio log out here with the loader and this is the first time that I've seen the cut here. And this is pretty typical. The, the other one I said, you know, it was pretty good. It only had one heart check split. I mean, that's a 10 inch there, eight inch, five inch, five inch, six inch, four inch. This is pretty typical. So we're only gonna yield boards out of these little areas right in there like that. We'll get a little bit more here, but there's so much waste in these logs. It just, I wish I could yield more of it because the wood is so beautiful, but it just doesn't lend itself to good lumber production. The logs are short. It's a good size in the middle here, but fat on either end. And we're just not gonna get that much lumber out of it. Um, there's a little bit of fiddleback that shows up on the edge over here, which is really nice. So that would be compression curl from the roots going out. But I'll go grab the forklift and move it over to the sawmill. Hopefully I can get it over to the mill without it falling off the forks. I just like to travel with them really close to the ground so if they do go off it's not a big deal. Whites. I think I got one there. Okay. Ebony, are we gonna sawmill some pistachio? You got your green bandana on. That's a nice pistachio color. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get it. So with these short logs, with our current sawmill, the LT300, the dogs in the back are about six feet apart. And these logs are anywhere from two feet to this one's probably four and a half feet. So it's just too short. We put a board in here and that gives us something for the log to grab onto. And we've still got our steel clamps, dogs in the back to hold, support the log. Oh, that's really pretty. So you can see the blade really has an aggressive bite. I probably went through a little bit of sand or something like that. And there's maybe half a dozen teeth that are dull in a row. So the, the blade kind of goes along, dives just a hair, and then recovers and, and cuts some more. So it's kind of an aggressive undulating cut. Yeah, you can see that undulating right there with the sawdust where it builds up. But this is really typical and I'd say 80% of all the boards are gonna have marks like that just because of what we're milling and how much sand and dirt is in it. 
And then here are the cracks that you can see on the end of the log. And those get, well, let's see if we can knock one off and you can kind of see. Yeah, that didn't take much at all. So that crack just goes all the way through. These pieces will go over and get processed into smaller pieces that have, um, you know, no defects or fewer defects in them. So that's really pretty. So you can see two distinctly different species of pistachio right here. Uh, this is the Chinese pistachio, or pistache they'll call it. And this is a different variety. We were not able to confirm what variety the top is, but that's the Chinese pistachio on the bottom. Uh, really nice greens, black colors. When this ages, it's going to have more of this orange color throughout the whole thing, which looks really, really pretty. Did we get it? Here, we'll get the sawdust on you. There we go. Got a few slabs cut off of that. They're inch and five eighths thick. And this is probably gonna surprise a lot of you, but we're gonna take these and we're gonna cut them inch and five eighths into strips. And this is how you end up with uh, inch and a half square by 12 or whatever length we choose to cut them at. That's how you're gonna end up with the turning squares out of pieces like this. And we leave it at inch and five eighths for a couple reasons. One, it allows for shrinkage with the turning squares. We can let them dry, and then it gives us a little bit of room to play with getting them planed or surfaced to an inch and a half, so they true out at that. The other beauty, when we get to stuff like this, where I know that's not gonna produce a turning square, by keeping it thick at inch and five eighths, if you take an eighth out of that, you get two pieces that are three quarters of an inch which is a pen blank. So we'll end up with lots of material for pen blanks out of areas like this. We won't yield very many of them, but we'll get a few of them out of that. And then the nicer material in here, like in here, you'll get inch and a half squares. So that's how we cut turning squares. With bull blanks, we would have just kept the slabs thicker. For bull blanks, they really don't produce that much material and it just gets really cost prohibitive to make them because there's so much waste and we still have to pay the same amount for the log whether we yield anything out of it or we, you know, we get a lot out. So we've got to make sure we get good yield out of it. And those turning squares and the pen blanks and the occasional bull blank will help us uh, achieve our goal. Beautiful pistachio, greens, blacks, big slabs, really awesome material. What do you think, Connie? We got a winner? Are you going nuts yet? I am. We got so many logs to cut over there. But beautiful stuff. Gonna be world-class material for any kind of project from pool cues, bottle stoppers, pens. Really neat stuff. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please hit the like button at the bottom and please subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more neat videos coming up.